The, the biggest case that they're going to use against the bill is by saying it provides opportunity for more people, more especially young people, to have access to uh, wine, which I, I think that's a bogus uh, statement um, and an argument for them to make because I was co-prime sponsor on a bill two years ago with Senator Joe Haynes that we became Tennessee with that piece of legislation, we became the first state to pass universal ID, meaning that it didn't matter who you were or how old you were, um, when you went in to buy a product, you had to show your ID, even if you were 75 years old. Now, we did listen to the folks last year. We listened to a lot of complaints, and we backed off of that uh, and amended the law last year and said if you appear to be over 50, then you're not required uh, to show an ID. Now, your Publix, your Kroger's, and uh, other larger chains have said it doesn't matter. From a um, uh, protection standpoint from lawsuits, we're gonna ID anybody. And because that law is still on the books of universal ID. So therefore, if we're checking the IDs, what's the difference in having a 50-foot uh, cooler shelf of beer in the grocery store versus having a 50 foot on the other side of the aisle, 50 feet of shelving of, of wine. To me, there's no difference. I mean, if you're IDing, you're IDing. So I, I don't think that's a compelling argument that they have. Uh, we're gonna ID no matter how old you are.